Hey everybody, here we are, full mixed sauce team for the Star Wars Packed the, in. the Last Jedi trailer. We're really getting in here. We are uh, currently watching the end of the second quarter. We expect the Last Jedi trailer to show up at halftime. And you're going to get live ish, our live reactions, but you're going to watch it recorded while it happens. So, uh, what do you guys think about live this? Live uh, recorded. This, this goddamn football game looks like a hockey game. The score is 3 2. Yeah, it's, it's, it's one of the worst score football winning. games that I've ever seen. Uh, Minnesota 3, Chicago 2. Uh, I don't like Minnesota's Matt helmets. That's the big problem I'm having. You don't like any Matt Going helmets? No, I don't like any Matt helmets. I like a nice, a nice shiny gloss. Football's the you know big, fancy. As long as you can decide on whether gloss, that shit. gloss or matte, as long as you can decide on which one you want. Unlike the Jacksonville Jaguars oh, that have, have matte, and, matte gloss. and gloss gradient. Well, the gradient black to gold. The gradient the is the fucking worst. So. Does watch you know watching the Vikings here? Mm -hmm. A lot of the mad helmets are like the special concussion helmet. They've got like different, different padding configuration. Mm -hmm. Do those have to be matte for some reason? No, no. The, a lot of the <laughs> other players have that. The Steelers have a lot of those helmets. Do they? Um, yeah, they do. I don't know why the doesn't appear that the Bears have those helmets, though, for some reason. But I've, I've seen a lot of teams move to the sort of compression helmets or whatever the hell they are now. So, yeah, but it looks like the Vikings are like, just mash those brains up, son. Who cares? You really think that helps that much? Mm, it might help a little bit. I don't know. I'm not a doctor, Matt. I don't know. Do either of you have a... Uh, rooting interest in the Bears or Vikings tonight? Not really. I would. You have a favorite? You just prefer one team over the other? I don't. Really. I don't. Usually, like my rooting interest depends on who I hate, and I have no beef with either of these teams. Like, if either one appeared in the Super Bowl, aside from my team, I'd probably root for one or the other if either one showed up. So. Yeah, they're both old classic teams. They're they. I, I don't know. I don't have any. This is the uh, the NFC North, right? That's correct. And, and also in the NFC North is the green the the people's Green Bay Packers, right? That is correct. A publicly owned company. Um, who's the who's the fourth team rounding it out? Detroit Lions. Another all Do they this... stink again. Uh, Weren't they right. good for a couple seasons and now they're bad again? They're all right. So, um. I feel like that's a really classic division. As a matter of fact, I feel like that's football's most classic division. I think it probably has the oldest teams combined. Yeah. Just with the Packers and the Bears, both of those teams have been around for 100 years both. And the Lions are old, old-time old team. Up, coming up at halftime. Beat a little BB-8 action. He's getting cute. BB yeah. action. Beep, beep, boop. I think I'm uh, preferential to the Vikings because of their purple and gold color. Harkens back to the old LA Kings purple and gold days. Were you a the fan Lakers, of the Kings? Purple and gold? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Were you a fan of the Kings when they originally were purple, purple and gold? Yeah, not, yeah, pre Gretzky, not early, mm -hmm. um, like Marcel Dion days, but the mm -hmm. uh, Jimmy Carson, Luke Robitaille days before. Before Gretzky showed up and everyone decided black and silver was really cool. Fuck your black and silver, son. Purple and gold is where it's at. What are they now? Uh, fucking black and silver again. Oh. But they won two cups with black and silver, so... That's the way to go. Can I be too, can I be too mad? <coughs> um, purple and, and gold, are, it's very royal. It's, it's, yeah. yeah like, it kind of purple is kingly. the color of the It's very kingly. So. Because it was hard to, back in the day, it was hard to make purple dye. So, only kings and queens wore purple. What do we think of this halftime? History guy, right here. What do we think of this halftime show panel? Mm, I think that I like 
Charles Woodson's rose pin. Like, Do you like that or his ascot? That's a splash of color. That's classy. Yeah. Is that an ascot? Is that what that I is? I think it's an ascot. Yeah. Now, Ian, yes. why are you not wearing an ascot tonight? Uh, why would I be? I should. I should. Why am I not wearing a Star because... Wars shirt is more appropriate. <laughs> a red Star Wars shirt. Because black guys can get away with more ostentatious suits than white guys. That's the, and I think you, you need to the one, fucking roll with that. It's the one thing that we've got. We can wear loud stuff. I've watched Deion Sanders for years. Uh-oh. Is it Sean McDonough? Oh, oh they're on the field! They invaded Soldier Field. Stormtroopers on Soldier Field. Wow. There's a fog machine. There's stormtroopers. They should probably be walking in unison a little better. <laughs> they don't look that... Wait, this here, is it! Turn it up! All right. There you have it. Um, reactions? What did we think? Quick takes? Matt. Matt, resident McSoft Star Wars expert. Go. Uh, man, there was a lot in that trailer. That was a lot more than I expected. I really tried to fight off some smiles. <laughs> I couldn't. Uh-oh. Yeah. Is that the dreaded two point the... swing? Uh, no, I don't. I don't, I don't God, think. No. I don't think what made me smile uh, delayed any misgivings about what this could be. But yeah, stuff that really, I, I couldn't help it. I was smiling. It's it's really beautifully shot. Like Ryan Johnson has a very uh, nice eye for setting up a shot. I like the way you know, the Kylo Ren with the red in the background, and uh, it looked beautiful. You know the over the 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 a resident art expert. The the over the top down shot of Luke's little island thing mm. looked really nice. So, um, who was he talking about? I haven't seen this kind of raw power. Who knows? Was he talking about Kylo, or was he talking about his dad? I would assume. Was he talking about Ray? Kylo Yoda. I would assume Kylo Ren because uh, we we saw the biggest we saw the you know the biggest outlets of Vader's power in the original trilogy. Mm -hmm. I, I don't think Vader was really going to hold back. 
none of none of like Luke's not gonna see Vader's greatest release of power off camera in and, those movies. And the way that they cut that scene, it looked like looked like Luke's mechanical hand was coming kinda, up through the remains of the like Jedi he, Temple. He could be talking about himself. You think so? The way Maybe, it, the way it was cut, yeah. The way it was cut. But let's give some quick hits. Matt, two two point swing. Did you, did you like it? What did you think Jeez. about this trailer? Quick. Um Yes, no? Uh No, no. It I feel like I'm going to say, Please. if anything, Please. it it went Please. backwards. Ooh! Oh, shit! The negative effect! I don't know, the negative now, to for those of you that are, that are watching this video, you have to tune into this, the sister podcast to understand what our... You have a sister. Twin sister. You fucking dorks. So, we, we basically gave it our um, 10 point excitement uh, number and then our 10 point um, expectation. expectation we were all over the place so you gotta tune into the McSauce comic book podcast to get those numbers episode, episode 216 iTunes, Stitcher, Podomatic so um, I don't know if anything I want to say it went backwards because I'm not sure I'm digging where this story is going from what I could tell based on the very end which I think is the end of this movie. I think that's going to happen at the end of the movie. There's your cliffhanger. And, and they just revealed it. And quick, let's go. I'm going to hang with an eight. Eight. Still pretty excited, but I'm hanging with an eight. You know what? You still have to check out the podcast for my number, even though he just spoiled his number. Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to give my number either. Just go listen go to listen. the podcast. It's a little tease. All right, we'll see you on the pod.